Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into uh, an interesting one today. Not sure how many of you guys are even aware of this fight, but it's pretty slim pickings this week uh, as, as to what to bet on. We have TV with Lopez. I read the video on that, so check that out. Uh, this is going to go from the uh, the Frank Warren card, the Queensberry promotion card. It's, it's the co-main event, I believe. It's Sam Noakes and Louis Silvestri. Uh, Louis Sylvester. Um, interesting fight. Uh, we're going to get into that. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day. Uh, every day. Um, for every fight. Every major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, but if you do, uh, we use DraftKings. Can't even use DraftKings in Texas, but if you do gamble, uh, DraftKings is a great book. Use DraftKings. It's, it's, it's user-friendly, uh, and, and it gives good odds. Also, please follow me on, uh, subscribe to my Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description. It's $5 a month. You get all types of perks for just $5 a month. You get um, free t-shirt. You get, you can ask me to handicap a fight. It's got a fighter. Uh, all, a ton of perks in that checkout. It's just $5 a month. Um, also, please uh, follow my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. All right, let's get into today's show. Louis Sylvester and uh, Sam Noakes. Sam Noakes is the more touted guy. Uh, two undefeated prospects. Noakes is 12 and 0. Sylvester is 13 and 0. It's for the Commonwealth Lightweight title and the WBC International Silver Lightweight title. So two fringe belts. Um, it's a decent card. Liam Williams is going to lose to Hamza Shiraz in the main event. Uh, Mason Abdul is also on the, Masad. I'm sorry, Masad Abdullah, not Mason. Masad Abdullah is also on the undercard, as is Anthony Yard. So it's a decent little card. Um, who are these guys? Uh, you know, if you're not one of my British folks, you may not know who these guys are. Uh, we'll start with Sylvester, which I think is he's 13 0, four knockouts. He's got a first round knockout in his last fight against Jimmy First. It's, okay, so that, that's a decent win. And you can see he is coming forward more. Um, he's more. He's fighting more off the front foot. But what is he? He's a long-range fighter. He wants to be on the outside. He measures distance as well. Um, you know, he's got fairly slick movement. He sticks out his jab. Uh, you know, he's mostly a jabber. And obviously, you know, the, the he's got the, the first-round knockout. Uh, and it's a legitimate knockout of Jimmy First. Uh, but he's got four knockouts and 13 fights. He doesn't really commit to his shots. He's not a puncher at all. There's no real pop to, to, to mention. Um, you know, he's really sharp with his counter shots. Uh, he keeps his lead hand low, so he may – Noakes may be able to hit him, and you don't want Noakes to be able to hit you. You know, he's got quick counters. He's got little – he's a little sloppy defensively sometimes. Like I said, he carries his hand low. He just gets a little sloppy sometimes, uh, especially in exchanges. It, it's kind of easy to counter him. He, he fires off good combinations that are just easy to counter. Good counter right hand, like slick little pop shot right hand that he, he can score with. Um, really, that's his, it's his jab and his counter right hand, like single shot bank right hand, and, and his jab from the outside. You know, he's not hyper athletic. He's not super athletic, but he, he knows how to use his distances. And he can use his jab. Uh, so it's going to be a conflict. It's going to be conflicting styles. Also, the one thing I've noticed is, is like I said, he, he's come forward more, especially in his last fight. But he seems uncomfortable in exchanges. And that's going to be a problem with Noakes, who's, who looks to bring the fight to you the whole time. Noakes, to me, is the better prospect. So we're going to have a – he's the better prospect, he's, and he's a hitter, and he's a straight pressure guy that wants to come forward, seek and destroy type of guy. So it's going to be a contrast in styles, right? Like I said, Sylvester seems to be working on the, his front foot game. I don't see him using it in this fight. I, I see him tying him up in, in, on the inside and, and being off the back foot because stylistically, Noakes is an animal, right? 12-0, 12 knockouts, hitter, gets guys out in, in the first couple of rounds. 
Got a win over Carlos Perez. Uh, win over Calvin McCord, who was an undefeated fighter, 12 and 0. Knocked both those guys out in the fourth round. Uh, scored another second round knockout uh, at the uh, Copper Box Arena. That was uh, February of 2023 on uh, Joe Joyce versus Sheila Zhang. The first fight was on that card. So nice looking, nice looking prospect in in Sam Noakes, fighting family. Uh, he's not super active. He doesn't throw a ton of shots. He doubles up his jab well to get on the inside. Uh, he's been using his jab more, which I thought was his flaw early on, was he didn't really use his jab. Now he's using it. He doesn't have any head movement. So you don't have any head movement, you don't use your jab. And you need to get on the inside. How are you getting on the inside? Are you going to be eating shots? You know, he paused with it a little bit, right? Um, I, I want to see him, but he's, he's, he's sticking it out there. He's firing it. He's got really nice uppercuts on the inside. He can elbow and, and, and kind of he's physically strong. He can create space with his elbows on the inside to nail you with the right hand. Like he's got this chopping right hand. He'll kind of push you off with his, with his weight, with his shoulder, and then nail you with the right hand. He, he's really good on the inside. He's got some tricks. He's got some craftiness on the inside. He uses his strength. You know, he's a seek and destroy guy. He's not that hard to hit. He's a good body puncher. He's not that hard to hit. He's not hard to find. But I just can't see... Sylvester, with no power and, and not willing to fight on the inside, being able to keep him off or hold his, or when he does let him in, be able to really hold his own at all on the inside. So I, I see Noakes ultimately breaking him down or just winning on activity, you know. So I, I see Noakes winning. If we pull this up now, let's let's pull up the odds, and I'll show you what we're doing, how we're making money on this fight. Pull this up for you. Y'all can see that. All right, beautiful. Uh, so the only thing they have open is the money line. I'm, I'm confident Noakes is winning, but I'm not super confident in it. Like I said, Noakes is flawed too. I, I do think he's the better prospect stylistically. I think it favors Noakes. So I'm just going to do Noakes. Uh, minus 550. I'm taking Noakes on the money line. And so on a one times bet, we use $100. It's going to make it 1818. Again, this is not going to make you a ton of money. And neither is the TFU Lopez fight that we did yesterday. But if you just continue to bank all of these, and you just continue to bank all of these, or you parlay them, or what have you, you can make money. And, and that's what we're doing. We're consistently showing you how to make money. You know, we're not getting rich on every fight, but this is a good bet. Noakes is likely going to win this fight, and you're going to cash in on this. I really don't see a, much of a path to victory for Sylvester, who's not going to be able to keep him at, at range the whole time. Uh, so that's the bet. Money line bet on on Sam Noakes. If there was over under, you know, this is this is a toss up, right? Because it depends on how Sylvester fights him. So I like this. Take the money, cash it, and and just go on to the next fight. Take the money in this one. Take the money on Tiafimo Lopez, and we'll be back on another video. I mean, that's the best advice. That's the best gambling advice I can give you, and you're gonna make money on it. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Remember, the boxing book, you can actually for every single major fight. Uh, also, subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description. All types of fun perks. Uh, free t-shirt. Um, you get, ask, ask, the, ask the, the boxing book. Anything. I'll, I'll handicap a fight for you that I haven't already done. Uh, all types of great perks. And also subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. It is February 5th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.